So, um, Brody, about two and a half years ago, you were attending uh, two day services. Yeah, I was. What was that like? Um, it was, it was fun at times. Where they would go and have no idea what the hell you're doing. Just sit around, do work, then go places, but not learn really anything. And at that point, I was like, "What am I?" I mean, my mom was like, "What is he doing? Where should he?" Like, he should be doing other stuff. So then my mom um, got me out of the day services, and yeah. Yeah, so uh, like, how did that make you feel when you were just doing stuff that didn't make much I sense? I got bored, like, mm -hmm. and um, there was times where, um, where it was difficult to, to want to be there. Um, yeah. Hmm. And so, what were some of the good things that happened when you left the day service? Um, I did a lot of work experience, as well as I worked for a landscapist at Doing Mon Moy um, for, I don't know really how long, but um, yeah, that was interesting doing the Mon Moy. Um, I also did work experience at a cafe for six weeks or something, um, so making coffee serving that to some customers that would turn up to the cafe, and yeah. And you en enrolled in a course. Do you want to tell people about the course that you oh, did? Oh yeah, um, so for about a year, yeah, so a year I was doing um, cert free music, so learning the basics of how to make music, how to um, like, try, um, yeah, how to make music, um, how to, um, DJ on a deck, how to um, use software on a computer, um, et cetera, et cetera. And, yeah. and we made a bit of a video about that, didn't we? Yes, that was, uh, yeah, that was me playing in a band. Yeah. yeah. So the video is on our website too, it's called The Music Student, so people could watch it on, on the website so as yeah, well. So yeah, if you go to Belonging Matters, um, the video should be there and hopefully it inspires you or something to, I guess, get, you, get your kids out there to try something new mm. or whatnot, so yeah. Yeah. And there was also something else that happened in that year. You got some, some actual paid employment, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so the, the lawn mowing thing was, a pay, was paid, mm -hmm. but um, then I started working for a company called... Um, uh, the, sorry, the first company I worked for, for was um, was uh, Amy Park, so that's a, obviously a arena where they play soccer or not. Um, so I served food for um, for a couple of months or so, and then I decided not to go no more because um, it was just boring and very like, and it wasn't what I wanted to do at first. Um, then I moved from that job to another where I started to sell alcohol to, um, to customers. Well, not that, um, was that like the game or um, watching darts or whatnot. Um, so, yeah. How did it feel to have a paid job? Um, felt good. Um, like, it feels good to actually feel like you're you're um, not a person with, like, it makes me glad that, um, that I'm doing something that um, a lot of people with disabilities don't do. So it's good to, I guess, know that. Hmm. Yeah. That's great. Um, so what are th some of the things you've been doing this year? Um, so this year I've been working at, um, like, like I said, at, um, I haven't been working at any park, but I've worked at um, like High Sense Arena, uh, Broad Lever Arena, Eddie Ice Stadium. Uh, so all of that, those jobs I was selling, I've been selling alcohol. And just recently yeah, I've moved out of home, so living in my own house with two other mm. men. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, and that's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like what young people do. 
And so the other people you, you live with, do they have a disability? No. So the average view of our disability, which is, um, well, I, I guess it's good. I mean, I don't know the difference. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, but I, it's sort of interesting that sometimes, you know, people think that people with disabilities need to live in group homes. I mean, that's their opinion. But mm -hmm. if they want their kid to live a good a life where they're not in a day service or not, it's good, like, they have to, I guess, um, have in their mind that they want um, a, their kid to move out of her, not in a shared house with other people with disabilities or, or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're also, the, what are you studying this year? So this year I'm studying um, cert for in hospitality, so learning um, how to be a um, waiter, so serving people food, as well as being a bar, serving people cocktails and whatever else. Um, so I've already been there six months, but I'm there again to relearn. Um, but the good part about relearning is you get more experience um, with food and also um, learning, like learning from what you've learned, you get more knowledge. So you, whatever you do next, it, your, your, um, your head of, yeah. Great. So that's quite a change that you've had. Yeah. So you're at day services about two and a half years ago. And now you're, you're working, you're studying in the community. Yeah. Uh, you've moved into your own home. Um, it's fantastic, Brody. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you... Yeah. Thanks. So it's interesting. Like, what, what were some of the uh, things along the way that helped to make those changes? Um, uh, I think... It's about making it happen. So, I mean, I said I I look at it as in there is hope, but then there's also um, a point where you actually have to make it happen instead of hoping it will. Because sometimes when you hope for stuff, it never happens, and mm. you give up, and so on, so on. Yeah. Mm. So you need a bit of action in there. Yeah. Bit of vision. Yes. Few dreams. Yeah. And, but you've had some people around you to help you with that too. Do you yeah, want to talk I, about that? So I went up to a conference and then my mum decided that she wanted to make a circle of support, which is people like you helping people like me get, um, have a good life. Mm -hmm. That's basically the idea of a circle of support. Yeah. Mm. Do you think this might be a good time to uh, watch that video? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. Graphic, text, introducing circles of support, cosm.org.au. Brody and Jody sitting at a table. Brody. Hi, I'm Brody. This is my circle of support facilitator from the Line Matters, Jody. Hi. So now we're going to talk about how the circle of support works. That's right, Brody. We're going to talk about how your circle was formed, the purpose of the circle, what it does for you, and how the circle supports you to achieve your goals. Cool. Perfect. Let's do it. Text. Title. Brody's Circle of Support. Vision of the members of Brody's network socialising. Graphic. Text. My network of support commenced in April 2016. Jody has been facilitating my network of support since January 2018. In this time, I have left a day program and now work and study in the community. Vision. Members of Brody's Circle socialising. Brody. So before the Circle of Support, I talked with Jody about the, the goals and the stuff that is important to me. Brody and Jody sitting at a table. Jody. So Brody, what do you want to talk about in tonight's meeting? So I'd like to talk about the fact that I want to become a barista and hang out more with friends. Perfect. So I want you to remember that this is all about you. 
Yeah, and then any time you feel uncomfortable, you make sure you sing out, okay? All right, cool. Yep. And also it's going to be exciting because we've got Noel's joining us for the first circle meeting. Cool, I'm excited myself. Yeah, great. Vision, meeting of Brody's circle of support. Graphic, text, I have six people on my circle of support. Five members of my circle are unpaid friends who share my vision and values. My circle meetings usually go for approximately two hours. My circle of support meets every six weeks. Brody. The whole idea of the circle was mentioned to me by my mom. She explained to me how it would help me reach my goals and she also helped me set it up. Justine, a Brody's mum, with a vision of Justine and Brody talking at the table. When I first put the idea of a circle of support to Brody, he was excited and really, really positive. I think it's so important for Brody to have a circle of support because it helps him take control of his life. When I asked people to be part of Brody's circle, at first I was nervous, but the response was really positive. I helped Brody form the circle. First of all, by discussing with them the purpose of the circle, and then having we had a chat about who might be good people to invite. I helped Brody choose who might be part of the circle by thinking about um, who was a wholehearted person who could make a contribution. Brody, it's always good when the members arrive. We talk about everyday stuff. Vision. Circle of support members arriving. Graphic, text. For continuity, we schedule meetings at the same time. We understand that sometimes a member may be unavailable. My circle honors and concentrates on my aspirations for a good life in the community. Teresa, Brody's friend. I've known Brody for some time and I just feel it's just an honor to be a part of something so exciting and beneficial for him but also for me like I really enjoy it I have a good time and, and my friends are here and I feel well supported as well. Noel, Brody's neighbour. So it's really good I've enjoyed tonight tonight was my first night here and it's great to see the progress that he's made. Brody lives over the road for me and it's great to sort of you know have uh, the opportunity to catch up with him. He comes for lunch uh, sometimes on Sundays which is really cool and uh, yeah so it's, it's good to good to help out in whatever way we can. Andre, Brody's support worker. Just saying how um, how inspiring it is to, to see all the, the progress that has, has come from from all the things that we've discussed during these circle meetings, and for a support worker as well, it's um, it can sometimes be a bit lonely if you if you're out there you know doing all this stuff yourself. So coming to these circle meetings and getting all of that um, encouragement from everyone and um, you know some some people to, to touch base with and. Um, you know, think about different ideas and it's be more, you know, collaborative and it makes makes my my life so much easier and so much yeah, more, more rewarding and yeah. Tracy, Brody's friend. It, it's an absolute privilege. Um, I, I actually when I leave I feel uplifted and completely inspired by um, by Brody's um, ability to communicate and by the circle, the, his support network around him, it, it's uh, something I'd love to see in place for all, all humans, you know, but to, to watch it and to see Brody, I don't get to come all the time, but to see the, the impact, the positive impact this is having in Brody's life is, it, it, it touches my heart and I'd love to see people be able to have this opportunity with disabilities or even, fully able people, it's it's just a wonderful support in people's life. Vision, Brody circle of support members sharing a meal. Graphic, text, a light meal or refreshments helps members to connect and bond. We meet at one of the members' home as it provides a comfortable, relaxing environment that aids creativity. We keep things focused, but enjoyable to keep all involved. Jody, with the vision of Brody's support network meeting. The way I facilitate Brody's circle meeting is to always ensure that he's the main focus and that he's listened to and respected, to ask questions of the circle, to ensure that we're coming up with great ideas and suggestions, to keep the circle on track, to ensure that it's always about Brody and around him having roles and a purpose within the community. And at the end, we always walk away with actions 
that are going to lead towards Brody achieving his goals, which is having roles within the community. Brody's circle of support focus on Brody becoming a barista. So, Brody, how do we make this happen? Does anyone know? Anyone have any contacts of cafes, people in the city? I can. I can I really help in that area. <laughs> <laughs> of course, um, you can, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was thinking about this too, Brody. Um, if if you weren't so focused on the city, but. Um, uh, like I know a lot of cafes more in, in the suburbs yeah. and, and potentially in like a shopping centre. So what does everyone see as our next step? Andre's got the contacts. What do we? What do you want to see as this next step to make it happen? I guess um, practice. Like I guess if I can ask, um, I practice on Thursdays and Fridays at the bar, making coffee. Jody. Circles of support are all about relationships and everyone having a common purpose. So maybe ask if you could have a go on the coffees and just like it's any, like any skill, the more you do it, the more better you get. Yeah. And faster and better quality and all sort of stuff. And it's just all you got to do is ask and they're not going to say no, no, no. That's great, Brody. Because so there's an opportunity then, there anyway. And what can you do with that experience? What's that going to help you do? Um, so when I go to work, get it like be able to know what coffees are and how it's made and... It'll build your resume up a bit mm. too. Yeah. yeah. And there, there could be somebody who comes to the church who has right. a cafe. Like loves your coffee and... Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's, that's, right. a that's a great idea. idea. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Do you think maybe um, a way of getting into a cafe, maybe we could ask the owners if, if um, you could do a couple of hours towards the end of the day, yeah. um, just to, to introduce you to um, to the different machinery and so you get used to, to making coffee when it's not so busy. Jody. The more regular that Brody's circle meets, the stronger the relationships become, which therefore leads to better outcomes for Brody to achieve his goals. Teresa. Well, that was what we talked about last circle too, was with your math. You said the math, you know, that's a blockage right now, but so to practice and to learn a few skills there would be great. And so it sounds like the same thing. But that doesn't stop you from keeping on I know. doing what you're doing. Yeah, that's great. Some of the goals that the Circle of Support has helped me with is working as a barista and studying music and hospitality and TAFE. Brady receives tuition in TAFE music class. All right, let's add a uh, E on the third beat. So E1 is going to be along here, right? Because that's C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Okay, and then follow along until we get to the third beat. And you see how in the background it's kind of like light lines and dark lines? Yeah, so yeah. if you know that's just above the black one that it's here. Alright, yeah, double click there. Exactly. Alright, how about you extend that E for the whole length of that beat? So all the way to the fourth beat. Exactly. Cool. Brody playing drums in a band at TAFE with photos of Brody with friends and his tutor. I was alone. Vision, Jody taking notes during the network support meeting. Graphic, text, we note successful outcomes from previous meetings. We ensure the goals and actions are well documented and celebrated. At the conclusion, we schedule the next meeting. Grody. I enjoy the circle of support, it gives me confidence and it helps me achieve the goals that are important to me. Brody and Jody sitting at a table. So Brody, how do you think tonight's meeting went? Um, yeah, it was good to see the people, now I have a plan to um, become a barista and hang out with friends. That's fantastic. So what I'll do is I'll make a time to follow that up with you. How does that sound? Cool. Bye. Bye. Text. Thank you. Brady McElroy, Jody Blobel, Justine Hall, Noel Martin, Teresa McAuliffe, Tracy Stanfield, Andre Samuels. Text. This video is part of the National Resource Centre for Circles of Support and Microboards. Cosm.org.au. Supported by Inclusion Design Lab.
just move over here a bit. Do you want to ask if people have got any questions? Oh. You've got a microphone on. Oops. Um, does anyone have any questions? No. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, so um, you, you choose your workers? Yeah, so, I mean, I choose my workers. Um, I don't fire them or anything, but mum does. does <laughs> um, and, and once you've chosen, like, it's interesting, isn't it? Because Andre's actually a barista. He was. He was? He was. Ah. Uh, but so he's well well skilled, isn't he, in making coffee? So a perfect support worker for finding a job making coffees. And then Andre was in, is employed by Higher Up. So yeah, Andre and yeah, so Andre and a whole lot of other people are hired by Higher Up. So it's a website. Mm -hmm. You make the account. You decide. You make a. Um, you make an email. You email the person telling the the person what you um, what you need help with for the for your kids or not. Um, you know, you meet them, then they become your tutor or whatever. Um, and the the people and higher up aren't um, are paid, but they're not like, but they're not like your um, average person that just drives, comes in, pay them by hand. It's like they. They have done stuff in the past, which ha which um, gives them knowledge of of how to help in some ways. Um, like Andre knows how to um, do cooking. He um, he knows how to make coffee, um, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Hmm. Great. So, um, it, it, the, are people familiar with Higher Up? Um. Yeah, you can you can just Google them and uh, have a read. And um, you had a question down there. Last one. Last one. Oh, Hi, good to see you. You have a gorgeous mother. We know that. Yep. How important it is for you, um, for your mum, to give you your space in your life. I know she marks in your support group there. I, you know. I honestly, I hardly see her, which which makes me. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't. I see her. I try to see her as often as I can, so I can have that time to myself, which which is good because I've needed that for a long, long time. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Can I make a comment? Yeah. Um, uh, my daughter Lauren is not nearly as articulate as you, Brady. Yeah. But I think the time that we spend doing the circle support and focusing on her is the most valuable time that we've mm. got. And, and it really um, lets you identify the areas of the life that can be improved. I think it's really, really, really important <coughs> um, that pe people should really embrace the idea mm. because it really focuses you. Because she's not articulate, so you've really got to um, mm. work, as a group of people, got to work out what's best mm. and what she really wants. It's not as easy as it is with you because you're quite articulate yeah. with what you want and where I'll, you want to be. So yeah, a lot of. A lot of people with disabilities have differences, yes. And some people like me, like, you know, have it easy, but then there's people without this, with disabilities that don't. I get that, but you gotta make the best of, of that life that that person has by making, by, I guess, helping that person have the best life they can. So when, I guess when the time comes that they're, you know, dead or whatnot, they, they've had a, a life where it's not wasted, you know what I mean? Mm. And that, um, yeah. That's a great message actually, Brody, to finish on, yeah. Um, and one of the reasons we um, I showed the circle video was um, there was a question this morning about, you know, what happens when I'm no longer here and I'm self-managing? Um, and it certainly in uh, some of the circles we facilitate, uh, circles have been very involved in the self-management aspect and uh, planning for the NDIS. So um, thank you very much, Brody, um, you for coming for today and sharing. Can we put our hands together for Brody?